today I'm going to be turning some pens on my lathe. This is a, a Jet uh, 1220 mini lathe. Um, and I got some pen kits from Amazon that came with some blanks. And this is, I believe this was Padauk, P-A-D-A-U-K. Uh, and you can just see me turn down these blanks to match the bushings in the middle in between the blanks. That uh, shows me how big the barrels need to be to match the pen hardware. Uh, there's a ton of waste in these in this particular pen style, which are called slimline. Um, I don't particularly care for them, but uh, I'm going to finish out the, the 10 kits that I got and then move on to something a little bit uh, with a little bit meatier barrel on it. Now I've turned down to the bushings and I'm just using some some, uh, I, I believe I start with 120 grit sandpaper and I go, go to 320 and then 600 and then I just clean off the dust with, um, with some alcohol on a paper towel. And this is Sapel wood. Looks kind of like walnut. And then a lot of this is just more rinse and repeat. Turn them down to the bushings, sand them, and then get ready for the next one. And this time I decided to use one of my carbide tip tools. Um, they take the, the wood off uh, a little bit faster, but it makes a mess of your cut. So now I'm going through with the skew and finishing up, uh, turning the barrels down to give them a little bit better finish so I don't have to sand them nearly as much. And now we're going to start finishing these pens, and I'm using the uh, CA technique, which is you just put the pen back in the mandrel and start laying down layers of uh, CA or cyanoacrylic cyano, cyano uh, glue. It's basically super glue. Um, start off with a couple layers of thin, and then do probably eight layers of um, medium CA. And I'm going to try thick in the future to see if I get a little better finish out of the thick or not. It doesn't cure nearly as fast as the thin and, se thin and um, medium. You're working against time when you're putting the CA on because the, it, it will fire within 10 to 15 seconds. So if you're too slow, uh, you'll get the paper paper towel to uh, stick to the barrel or the paper towel to stick to your fingers and burn the hell out of them because this stuff is really hot when the, when it actually fires. Those little plastic bushings make it so you don't glue the, the barrels to um, your metal bushings. Uh, they still stick a little bit, but they're easy to break off, and, they're, and it's easy to pull the, pull the cured CA off of, that, off of that Teflon.
And now I'm going through and doing a polishing on that CA finish. Um, these are sanding pads that I got off of Amazon that uh, they go anywhere. They go from 1500 grit up to 12,000. Uh, it's, it's done with a wet sanding method, so they're dipped in water and then uh, run through each each pad a little bit and make sure that you got all the blemishes out. It really shines up, polishes up that CA really nicely. And finally, I just finished the barrels with a little bit. This is actually Meguiar's cleaning wax. Um, seems to do a pretty good job polishing the the CA after after the uh, the sanding pads are done with them. And you'll notice I took that one right back off the mandrel and it never appears again. I found out that I had cracked one of the barrels uh, when I put it on the mandrel. I don't know when it had actually cracked, but uh, it was pretty much uh, useless at that point. So that was the zebra wood and it went into the garbage. And I, and I kind of kind of sad about that because I like the look of that wood. The pen you see, the complete pen you see laying over there on the right, kind of next to that light that's sticking out, um, was the first one I did that I didn't record. It was uh, made up, made from Purple Heart, which it was really hard, and I thought I was going to have more trouble with it than anything else. But no, it it, it actually turned pretty well. It was the zebra wood that seemed like it was uh, too brittle to make that thin. And now we need to assemble the, the pen hardware into the wind with the barrels. Um, I'm just using a, an old sanding disc to clean up the ends with it were all uh, had CA sticking out of them. And basically these are all press fit stuff. The barrels inside, the tubes inside the barrel are brass. So they're made to accept the, the hardware you get with it. You get the nib tip and then the, the, the what they call the transmission and uh, and the end cap with a with a clip on it and you just press them in there and there's a there are devices that you can get that that are meant for pressing pens together but they're expensive and i think this clamp works just as well So there's the three I did that day, and then I bring in one more that was made out of walnut that uh, came with came with the kit as well. Uh, and I did that. That was the first one I did, probably two weeks before I did this. So it's it's a it's a fun little project um, to get you get your turning skills down a little bit. And I'll probably do some more in the future uh, once I decide what other kind of kinds of styles I want to do. I'm not going to do the slim lines again because they're just too thin for my taste.